catfishing is a scam that targets people looking for love online. Victims in the U.S. and Canada say they lost nearly a billion dollars over the last three years. Meg Oliver tracked down victims on both sides of the scam. 65-year-old Roxanne Reed fell for someone on Facebook who called themselves Scott Humple. Although they never met, she sent the scammer more than $50,000 for medical bills. When she ran out of cash, she allegedly plotted to kill her 88-year-old mother for insurance money. Have you ever been in a relationship with Roxanne Reed? No. The real Scott Humple lives over 1,200 miles away in Corpus Christi, Texas. Seven years ago, Humple's wife died in a plane crash. Soon after, he started receiving suspicious messages on Facebook. It just seemed odd because I didn't know them. So I'd send a message back and say, do I know you? And then they'd say yes. Humple discovered scammers had created multiple profiles under his name. Identity theft expert Adam Levin says Humple checked off all the boxes for a catfisher, a handsome, well-to-do widower. How would you describe these catfishing fraudsters? They're emotional terrorists. Emotional terrorists. They don't care who they destroy, how they destroy them, whatever. All they want is they want money. For catfishing victims like retired nursing assistant Beverly Fransky, red flags are often missed. Why did you go on Match.com? Just maybe to find somebody to talk to. She fell for a man claiming to be a serviceman stationed in Afghanistan. Beverly sent the stranger more than $30,000 for his sick child's medical bills. Why did you send him money? This is a person you had never met in person. I don't know. I'm a caregiver. I've always taken care of people. Are you embarrassed that this happened? I'm not embarrassed, no, because nobody should be embarrassed for trying to help somebody. And Scott Humple still receives messages each day from people around the world who have fallen prey to scams. As for Roxanne Reed, the district attorney is determining how to proceed in a case where the accused is both a suspect and a victim. Elaine. So important for people to be aware of mm -hmm. these scams. Meg Oliver, thank you.